Hello, it is me, my hands. Uh, I'm kind of doing a bit of an odd video today. I am actually doing an unboxing of sorts, uh, as well as a first review. Uh, first time, first... the word, first impressions, that's the word I'm looking for, of a new product that I just ordered, just came in the mail. Uh, super excited for it, been looking forward to this for, I don't know, 10 years. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're doing today. And I have it right here. So I haven't even opened the box yet. Um, the outer box. Uh, I'm actually kind of doing this for two reasons. One, uh, because this is super awesome and I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, second, uh, last time I ordered something along these lines, uh, I ended up wasting a ton of money and frustration, and I never got it back, and it ended up being just a really expensive monitor that looks like this. That I use at work. Um, so, step one, get a knife. I have a nice knife. It's pink. And, uh, carefully open the Amazon package. Always cut away from yourself, that's smart. So that way you don't end up cutting yourself, slicing your hand open, seeing all the blood, realizing that you don't like blood, passing out in the basement. Family was told to leave you alone, so they do leave you alone, and you're found half an hour later with blood on your hand. All right. So this is the Wacom Cintiq Pro 16-inch. Immediately coming out of the box, we have the packaging here, beautiful clay people, that dog I think is missing its head, not entirely sure, and the bird is a literal cylinder with wings. Looking at the back here, uh, we will see what all it comes with, as well as a small display of what to look forward to as far as what it looks like. I will need my knife back out. Uh, actually, it's nice to see it has a built-in stand. I wasn't sure, it wasn't entirely clear on the side, at least that I didn't see. Uh, it does show that it does come with a 20-degree 20, 20 angle stand built in. Let's get this bad boy popped open. Um, so, before I actually open this, I kind of want to just compare uh, what I've been using to the new one. So what I've been using for the last 10, 11, maybe even 12 years uh, has been another Wacom product they don't make anymore. Uh, the Bamboo brand uh, is now a separate uh, line of products. Uh, but I've been using this bad boy uh, for yeah, at least 10 years. Um, it's it's warped, it's, uh, cracked, it's, wow, it's, uh, it's been through a lot with me. Oh, and it's missing a pad on the back, I didn't even know that. But yeah, this, this bad boy has been through a lot of drawing sessions with me. That's how I've done pretty much everything, um, since, since I bought it. Uh, so I'm gonna flip this back over. Let's remove this box here. Ooh, immediately. Uh, I'm actually, I'm not very good with measurements, um, but that's bigger than I imagined, which I like. Um, my first, my first uh, plan was to actually go with the 13 inch. That must be the, well, I will find out what that is. Um, because it is roughly the same size as the larger iPad, which was my other, other thought of getting. Uh, back, you can see the built-in stand right there. Oh, they click in and out. That is a very nice feature. You don't have to worry about those coming undone. Very nice. Sleek, smooth surface. The ports are right on the side there. You can see those. This side also containing two USB-C ports and a uh, headphone jack. Alright, the pen, this is this is actually where the magic happens. So this pen, battery free, 
Um, this is all built in. Uh, I haven't used uh, a pen with an eraser um, since I was in college, and they had a surplus of um, Intuos pads um, that I was able to use. I really enjoyed having the eraser, but I just I haven't had that in ages. I think this is just a piece of paper. <laughs> I think. I thought it might have been like a like a matte screen protector. It, it, I'm pretty sure it's just a piece of paper now that I now that I think more about it. All right. We've got our documentation, I can only imagine. There is something folded up in here. I'll get to that in a second. We have our USB-C cable. This is the Link Plus. Um, I am actually running on an iMac, a newer iMac, with uh, USB-C capabilities. So I will simply be using the uh, USB-C mode there. We have the AC adapter, power cable must be here for the other end of it. We have an adapter I won't be using, I would imagine, and just a standard micro USB cable. This is a tip, tip, tips, tip storage, just a tip, and a pen holder, I would imagine. That's what it appears to be. All right, lastly, in this box, we have various doodads. Yep, that is the other end of the power cable on a screen cloth. I have so many of these. I keep one at least one on me at all times. I have one in my bag, one in my pocket, and one pretty much anywhere I go. So having another screen cloth, not gonna hate that. Although I am missing a screen cloth. If anyone out there got the uh, like a collector's edition of Xenoblade Chronicles X on the Wii U, it came with a screen cloth. And I loved it. I used it like every day because that game is phenomenal. And I lost the screen cloth. So if anyone has a backup, of those or is willing to give those to me man hit me up i miss it back on track let's get let's get this box moved out of the way fun fact if you keep this uh any any plastic these like plastic protective things on any of your devices and I am over at your place and I see them I'm at your office I'm at your house I will take them off personally and I will not care what you think about it my boss keeps them on everything and I tear them off Ooh, so real quick, I just need to mention uh, that this has a very nice grip to it. Uh, not something that I'm used to uh, compared to <laughs> my my old pen. Um, just the difference between them. This is uh, seems a bit more ergonomic. Uh, actual buttons, physical buttons here, instead of just a um, more of a light switch style. These these two have a bit more give to them. Not, not too much to mention uh, in the tip area, uh, but the eraser, obviously, is a big thing for me. Oh, let's, let's put this in its stand. Yeah, so that's definitely a tip stand. Tip holder. Okay, uh, I'm not 100% I'm not sure on what this is. I think this is just a holder for more tips. Um, but only one way to find out, and that's to actually open it up. You push it and turn like a cap, like a medication cap. That's interesting. Um, but it shows you put the, the, the nib in. 
do something, but I don't need to. It has a nib in already, so, I mean, hey. But, you know what? It's not impact resistant. It's not water resistant. Don't go swimming with your Cintiq. And then in here, what the heck is this? Whoa, I can make it color. Oh, I got colors. Oh, that red is going to be sexy. All right. Like I said, I'm going straight USB-C for this. And if I were to guess, I would say one of these ports is for power, and the others are for connections. Ooh, that is a nice matte finished screen, gives it that paper feel. Let's kick these legs out. That is not USB-C. That must be for the link. So there's a left-hand side and a right-hand side. Um, just for convenience sake, I have everything coming out of the left here, so I'm just going to continue that trend. Alright, so we have power, we have connection, and let's turn this on. Right, immediately notice a very nice display. Hey, wow! That's a, that's a wallpaper I haven't used in a long time. <laughs> so it recognizes it as a second screen, which is ideally what I would want anyway. Um, but yeah, it, it uh, threw this wallpaper up. You guys ever watched this movie, Take On Me? It's very good, actually. Very surprised by it. They didn't have that pink-haired chick as much as I was thinking they would, and I hate her. But you know what? They ship these two a lot. Ooh, hello. Calibrate your pen. You know what? First impressions? Let's do this. Uh, second thing to note, uh, on the, on the main screen, let's see if I can tip this up, I have a notification, uh, would like to access the accessibility feature, so let me just accept that, because, uh, yeah, this is definitely different. Let's, uh, let's calibrate, uh, the pen. Okay. Oh, I forgot this had touch funk. Man, I am in this brand new world. It's, uh, I'm the Little Mermaid. That's not the Little Mermaid, that's, uh, Aladdin. It's a whole new world. I don't know if you can hear the train outside. Uh, but you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's calibrate the pen. There, okay, there we go. I just needed to give it functionality. I remember you doing this on, uh, like, my old DS. Move the pen around the screen. Oh, boy. Oh, baby. I'm getting excited. <laughs> this makes me so happy. All right. Uh, so I can calibrate other things. Oh, this is beautiful. This is glorious. I truly have no idea what I was missing. And I haven't even used it yet. Oh. So I'm not going to worry about those functions just yet. Oh, let's get back over there. Uh, cool thing about this screen. Um, I really I really wanted to push for the 16-inch, uh, which is what I have here. Um, because of the fact that it outputs at up, to, up to 4K, which is what I have uh, on my desktop computer. So it's a one-to-one, -one, 4K, 4K. It's all there. Um, so I'm actually going to go, I'm going to launch uh, my favorite drawing application and just do a couple of quick uh, sketches. And I'm just going to do some quick, let's, let's get out sketch pen first. Uh, just some quick sketches. Oh, I can put my hand right on it. I have it in blue, which is kind of odd. I don't know why I have it in blue. And a tiny little brush, too. I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest. Oh, it feels very good to touch. Um, it's 
it, it, yeah, it does have that matte feel, almost like, almost like paper, to be honest. And, yeah, just initially drawing, um, I, I have no qualms with it. It's, uh, it's, it's got great response. I don't feel any leg whatsoever. And yeah, this is probably like the quickest sketch I've ever done um, without having to just control Z everything because that was like my life is just command Z, command Z, command Z because without being able to see it, feel it, that I mean, that's all that you all that you have is just command Z everything you've ever done. Uh, eraser function uh, works, yeah, just as you would expect. Um, I can probably change that to be larger. Unless that's customizable. Okay. Yeah, it seems to be linked to the actual eraser. Um, but yeah, it's, uh... It, this is... This is really getting me going. I cannot wait to do some more drawing on this. Um, I will be doing art streams for sure. Uh, from here on out, I'll be working on my new uh, visual novel. A shorter one, but I will be using it on this device because wow i am loving this first impressions are a-okay i haven't even gotten to touch functionality right now i've only been working with the pen because you know what that's all i've had that's all i've had so now i have a beautiful crisp screen with zero leg going in and i cannot wait to be using this more so first impressions infinity out of 10 I will give more info as it comes. Thank you guys so much for watching.